Okay, so now we are, now we've got Troa. Now we can start uh, using the Heavy Arms uh, Gundam. We're going to this mission here. Uh, this is a, one of the tutorial missions. You can see we've got to get, we've got to get over there and we have to be aware that the, ele sorry, elevators, the catapults that can send uh, people beyond that thing. Or we could go to a different mission altogether. All right, so here's heavy arms. Um, all right, so then we have a different battlefield set up. You can see our base is in the middle. And the enemy base is over on the lower left, I believe. And so now we're back in it. So this is the first time that we're using the heavy arms suit. This is uh, the heavy arm suit from Gundam Wing, not the init not the initial heavy arm suit. This is the heavy arms uh, Kai suit, the one that was after the uh, space upgrade. You can tell the difference mainly by the number of Gatling barrels that we have. So we've got that going on. And yeah, I'm basically going to attrit my way uh, down to the enemy communication tower here. Of course, I've run into Master Asia and Ortega. Now, Master Asia is a enemy character from the G Gundam series. So you can see he's in the Master Gundam here. Uh, Ortega, I believe, is one of the Black Tri Stars from the original Mobile Suit Gundam and he should be in a Rick Dom suit. Now, if it's sounding like I know a little bit more about these things than I did the last time I was recording these episodes, it's because I've already played... Um, that was nice, a nice kill there. Uh, I've already played through basically all of Gundam... Uh, sorry, Mo Dynasty Warriors Mobile Suit Gundam Reborn the sequel to this game. Um, it's like the only reason I decided to pick up a PS3 on the cheap was to be able to, to get to do more of this. Although the games play and are tactically a bit different. So it you know it, it's interesting. You got it, it's interesting how different they are. Uh, Reborn gets rid of the sort of control the field thing. Uh, the fields are now story related for the most part, not not purely randomly generated like this. Um, there are similar strategies and objectives, but the idea of having a headquarters is gone uh, for both good and ill. Uh, a lot of the enemy fields that exist in this game, like this is an enemy communications facility, you know, which allows them to bring in extra reinforcements as long as they've got uh, any red bar. You can see the two, the red and blue bars there at the top. That shows you uh, the state of your state of your defenses, uh, the things that lower and or sorry, the things that lower the red bar or lower the blue bar is uh, losing your general suit. Like in our case, we're, we're a general. There's not really, I don't think we have, well, there are actually a couple of allies operating on the field. But every time we kill one of their generals, then their uh, defense rating goes down. If it gets below half, which it is right now, and um, that means that the defenses in the enemy headquarters have been lessened. And you, in theory, you could attack the enemy headquarters right away. Um, but you would have to face all the automated turret guns and stuff. And it just really wouldn't work out very well. And depending on when you are seeing this video this is episode 10, you might be thinking, wait a minute, you went over this like episode one or two. 
And the reason I'm going back over it now is just because I haven't uh, uploaded an episode of this in so long. Uh, you can heal you can heal your opponents uh, by sort of rendezvousing with them a little bit. But you can see here, now that I've taken the enemy communications area and our own communications area is still held, uh, the enemy general who looks like Makuvi here has appeared in their base. But I am just trying to clean up this last enemy field here. And you can see that not, I haven't really gotten used to using a lot of the combos. Um, I'm mainly using heavy, heavy Arms' main melee combo, which I still think looks pretty cool with the whole shooting the gun while hitting people with it kind of thing. Uh, and then his patented uh, missile super move. God, recording quality on this suffered a bit, I can see. Alright, well now there's no reason why we shouldn't be attacking the uh, enemy's main headquarters here. We've, you know, we've basically taken over all the fields. The only field that's left is the enemy headquarters, and for some reason Kai, a uh, character from Mobile Suit Gundam, uses the gun cannon suit. Not a, a support artillery suit, not terribly... I, I'm not a big fan of the gun cannon, but y you'll see it a lot. Up uh, And evidently, uh, Ban Banniger Lynx in the Unicorn Gundam also here. Alright, so now we've captured the... You can, and this is something that's also a little bit different uh, in Reborn. We've captured the enemy field without having defeated the enemy commander, which means that, fortunately for us, well, it just means that he won't be able to respond any reinforcements on, on the field while we have control of it, but we still have to kill him in order to, uh, to end the mission. And I'm just trying to be very careful right here. Um, just using my attack to get places. You can see that the game's trying to tell me where Makuvi is. And yes, if I'm mispronouncing his his name, I, I apologize. But the uh, uh, kind of wasted that super move there. But now now we've got him surrounded three to one because we've got Banniger and Ribbons Altmark from Double uh, O Gundam or Gundam Double O. They're knocking him around pretty good. Um, so I'm going to grab this uh, special attack canister here. And then Ribbons is going to knock me over. And now we're going to do our team up move. Uh, which unfortunately, some of the team up moves are not as cool as or as useful as the super moves of the characters normally. And that's one of the things that um, I ran across with Troa, is his super moves, I always found his super move, his regular super move, to be better uh, than his team-up super move or his his level 2 super. It just, I don't know, there's something about it that where it hits, it just, you know, it was, it's a little bit different. So, you know, we're going to keep... There we go. So that takes care of him.
I'm sure you're retreated. I'm sure that's not his corpse there. Oh, well. Okay, well, I thought we were going to get the cool view of Heavy Arms, the mission completed sign, but instead, here's, uh, here's our stats. We managed to increase Troa to level 10. Characters can get to level 50. Uh, we've increased our friendship with Miliardo Peacecraft, who is their partner for this mission. Um, again, based on the story that we chose, we didn't have a lot of partner options to go for it. So next time, we're going to be uh, trying to, f we're going to be continuing the story 